I'm switching things up and I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna do some thrift shopping today. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> you guys, I spent less than $25. I wanted to share some really exciting news with you guys. Good morning guys, it is 1048 and today's vlog is gonna be something a little bit different. I'm switching things up and I'm gonna try something new. I, oh I forgot my ring, <laughs> crap. Um, anyways, I'm gonna do some thrift shopping today. That's something I've never really done. I don't really count my Facebook market finds as thrift shopping. I've only found like two things. But I'm gonna go today and Steven's aunt my lashes are really bugging me today. Um, Steven's aunt's gonna actually meet me there. She is so good about finding good deals. I have a list of things that I'm looking for specifically. I wanna find fall clothes. Now I am still living in California and California doesn't really have a real fall. It gets cold, but it doesn't get super cold. I guess it just depends. I could also use these clothes for the winter time here too. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to find at least some, even if I just find one of these things, you guys. I've watched a lot of thrifting videos and people just find some of the craziest, most beautiful things. I am taking a risk though. Lucas has not taken his first nap. I'm really hoping he takes his first nap um, in the car. It's almost a 40 minute drive to this Goodwill, so fingers crossed. But anyways, I will meet you guys there. considering buying it. I am if you don't. <laughs> no, I think it's cute. What do you think, Papa? Tell her. What do you think? Look at his little hand. Dance. He dance, just hears the music. Dance. 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 <laughs> dance. 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 He loves to dance. I know. He was dancing in my arms. All right, you guys. I am back from the thrift store. Now, my list that I had was just a little too ambitious, but I did find some really good finds. Um, I found a couple of things for Lucas, and then I got myself a couple things. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got Lucas first. I didn't get him any clothes or anything. I got him more books and um, a toy and a basket. First thing I got him was this basket. I know you guys are probably probably thinking like this is such a random item. This was actually only 99 cents and I was like this is really cute because it kind of looks like a little like skillet. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute and for 99 cents I'm like this would be a nice little addition to his playroom. I could put maybe even some of his little like fake fruit that he has in here and just have it be really cute. So for 99 cents I couldn't pass this up. Now I will say I went to two thrift stores um, and neither of them really had any baskets. This was about the cutest one that I found. Um, but yeah, so I got him this basket here and then Steven's aunt took him for a bit and actually found this little wooden, um, train and I thought it was so adorable and just, just really, really cute and it was only 99 cents and I was like, wow, like I could literally, even if he doesn't play with it, I can make it a part of his room somehow. I could paint it if I wanted to, but I just thought it was really sweet. It was a really sweet little find for only 99 cents. Next thing, I found two books. This one is a dino book. It's called Dino Block. And what's really neat about this one, you guys know how much Lucas loves dinosaurs. His birthday was a dinosaur theme. Um, this book teaches you the names of every dinosaur. And I thought that part was really neat. So he can learn each of their names. And it even has how to pronounce each name down at the bottom. So I thought this was a neat little find. Um, it is a little bit broken, 
like it's a little torn on the side but I honestly think that that gives it a lot of character so I got him that and then I got him this other book there's nothing really special to it other than it was in really great condition but it's the pigeon needs a bath book Lucas loves baths but just in case he ever goes through a phase where he doesn't want to take a bath this book encourages little kids to want to take a bath <laughs> and so I thought this was really nice and again it was in really great condition I think this one was like two or three bucks for this book and books are honestly really expensive you guys i don't know if you've noticed if you have kids books are so expensive if you go to barnes and nobles they're always going to be more than if you find them on amazon sorry for the dog barking there are so many dogs that live in this neighborhood i just can't avoid it there's always a dog barking throughout the day including one of ours but anyways i'm going to show you guys one of my favorite pieces that i found today and this sweater this is a sweater it's actually from Zara. I was so shocked when I found it because it was in perfect condition. Perfect condition. It looks like it was barely worn. The inside is so soft and the buttons were one of my favorite um, features of this sweater. And I just thought it was so beautiful, so fluffy, and the fact that it actually fit me um, and fit me well was the most shocking part because things are usually too big, too oversized, and then it just starts to look funny. So for me to be able to find something like this for less than $10 was just honestly a miracle. So this was my favorite find of today. You guys, I was so happy about it. I was so so happy about it and i'm glad we went to the second thrift store because we went to do two different ones and i found it at the second location so so happy i found that these were both goodwills by the way second piece that i found i think this was probably i can't decide if this was my like second favorite or third favorite but it's this off the shoulder little sweater ivory color really pretty over the shoulder sweater second thing i found was actually this blazer and i was showing it to steven i thought this blazer um was pretty on the rack but then i tried it on and i just became obsessed with it this was actually from new york and company it's in a size four but when i tried it on again i was shocked at how well it fit me because even when I'm shopping at a regular store, most things are just too big on me, but I got really lucky to find something like this. It also looks like it's in such good condition, just like the rest of the items. And I really just imagined myself wearing this on a date night with some really nice jeans, high heels, and this blazer. I just thought would be really nice. And then the last thing that I found was this one's actually the dirtiest one. There's a lot of hair on it. Um, but this one is just a nice little sweater from Columbia and it's just a gray sweater and you know I don't have enough just throw on sweaters jackets um, most of my jackets are really thick like the one you guys saw from Zara so it's hard for me to just find something to throw on like in the mornings here although it hasn't been really cold midday it's been really cold in the morning and so on those morning walks that I take Lucas on um, it'll be nice to just have this and Columbia is an expensive company so to find this was also a really big steal so to sum it up oh that's really cool so i was wondering why the total for the second location was so cheap because the zara sweater was actually it said it was 14.99 but then it looks like it got discounted and it, they only charged me half the price so that's actually really cool so instead of 14.99 i actually got charged 750 for that jacket um the books were each 2.99 which totaled everything up to $13.48 for those three items. And then in the first location, um, I told you guys that the train was $0.99, cents, the basket was $1.99. The two sweaters were originally $6.79, but I got discounted one for $3.40. And then the blazer was $8.49 originally, then also got it at a discount for only $4.25. That blazer was $4.25, and one of the sweaters was $3.40. So the total of everything on that was $17.42. You guys, I spent less than $25 on all of these things. I spent a total of $24.91. I'm going to go thrift shopping a lot more because that 
is incredible. At a regular store, I would have spent that much on one item. But instead, I got four, five, six, seven, eight things in total for less than $25. I think I did pretty good for my first time thrift shopping. I really do. I think next time I'm just going to have to try different stores because these really didn't have a whole ton. And honestly, with Lucas there, I couldn't really take my time. I had you guys give me some tips on Instagram and a lot of you said just take your time and you'll find some hidden gems. But... I couldn't do that because I had Lucas with me. Even with help, I felt bad and I couldn't just pawn my son off to <laughs> Steven's aunt because she was there to also hang out with me. So next time I go through shopping, I'll definitely try and go alone so that I can take my time. But yeah, such a steal. I am so happy about that. Hey guys, it is actually the next morning now. Yes, I know I'm always wearing my hats. This is what happens when I have dirty hair. But anyways, I did not actually plan on vlogging today. Um, I wanted to actually make a, like a dedicated thrifting video, but yesterday didn't really go as planned. I wanted to share some really exciting news with you guys. So if you guys watched my last video, you'll know that I was talking about very briefly that I might be working with a small local business called A Love Place. And turns out that they want me to actually model some of their clothes, which is so surreal, but so exciting. I'm just really grateful. And so this morning we actually have a meeting um, at their shop and I'm waiting for Lucas to fall asleep. They know I have a little one and so we're kind of trying to work around that. Obviously Steven's gonna be here, his mom's gonna be here while he's sleeping, but I didn't wanna bring him into the shop just because I know he would just be really distracted and wanting to go all over the place. If you guys have been watching my videos or have been following me on Instagram for a while, I want to say since like 2017, I was always really into fashion and expressing myself in that way and trying new things. I really missed that. I kind of fell off that for a while. Um, one was like money purposes and then I had a baby and then trying to figure out like what fit my body best. And so I was, I've been kind of struggling on what looks best on me lately and just trying to find things that um, flatter my body. I'll try and film their shop um, just to show you guys like what they have. I talked a little bit about it in my last video, but it's so cute. All their clothes, so beautiful. Again, they have like little baby stuff um, and they also have kitchen decor, home decor. They have really cute tote bag. This is definitely a business that I'm obviously really excited to work with. pieces from the shop and I just want to say that the meeting went really really well it's actually called olive place not a love place I guess people get confused by it a lot so it's called olive place I brought a few pieces from their shop to actually take pictures over the weekend and I have to show you guys how cute I have a lounge set and this like um really pretty outfit for like a family outing and I also picked up these really pretty earrings I have been so into the wood style and i thought these were beautiful i have similar ones if you guys have seen me wear them but these are a little bit bigger which i loved and then this is the lounge that i was talking about oh so this color is in cocoa is what it's called really pretty so there's these lounge pants and then this really nice tank top and you guys i only wish you could feel it it is so soft and then it also comes with well it doesn't come with these are all separate pieces but this really nice cardigan. Again, everything is so soft and so cozy. So this is a lounge set that I'm gonna be taking pictures in. And then for like a family outing, this is, I actually got these earrings just to go with this outfit. Um, this is a really pretty sweater vest. It's in a nice clay color. And then you cannot go wrong with just an all black 
bodysuit. So I'm really just obsessed with the material of all these pieces because they're all really great quality. And so I tried these on at the shop and I was just, I fell in love with them. So I'm excited to uh, wear this out, whether we go to like a pumpkin patch or something, take a couple shots. Um, but yeah, super exciting stuff. I'm really glad I was able to get some clips from within the shop so you guys have an idea of just what it looks like. So if you guys live in California, if you guys are from the East Bay, I definitely recommend taking a visit to Olive Place because the clothes are great quality and you guys, they survived a pandemic which is incredible because the owner was actually telling me that they opened up like nine days before the lockdown and before everything hit. And so that is just like God's miracle right there that they are still up and running. And um, I'm just really excited to just like help them and support them and being able to do it in a really fun way. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I have a lot of laundry to put away and I really, really want to take a nap. I don't know what it is. I think it's the changing of the season and the weather is starting to change where I am starting to feel a little not sick but I don't know if you guys know what I'm feeling right now like when the weather changes you just feel like bleh and that's how I feel right now like physically I feel just not good and so hopefully maybe if I take a nap it'll go away but I've been feeling like that for like the past couple of weeks so hopefully it goes away hopefully my body adjusts to this new um season that's coming up but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i'm so excited to take you on this like new adventure once again i gotta praise god and thank god for this opportunity um and i just want to thank you guys for sticking along and watching my videos so love you guys and i will see you on my next one bye guys <music>